Hi, welcome back to Wallflowers. So for those of you that have been joining in on our live streams of late, and we've covered many topics, one thing that I've been talking about is organising the home, doing as many frugal repairs as we can around the home and uplifting the home as much as I can on a very tight budget and this also includes the pantry so as you know the shopping I do um, is from the food initiatives and I managed to get quite a few tins whether it be baked beans lentils hot dogs soups pantry stockers that will be invaluable to us in the winter they will be absolutely crucial to us to fall back on in the winter and provide us with hot meals many other tins as well i have shelving in the pantry i'll be taking you through shortly to show i've never really showed my pantry on youtube before i've showed a couple of pictures in the early days of setting up the pantry but I haven't showed it for a long, long time and I've never really videoed it and showed it on video. Just a couple of photographs initially when we first began to set it up. Mr. Wallflowers and I have discussed this and we've decided to actually take a look at the pantry and to show it to you. I've been stacking tins on metal shape shelving racks, somewhat similar to what you will find in a small grocery store. And it's not really appropriate once you stack tins three high and you're filling a whole shelf there's always a time when a tin will fall over it can either fall on your foot and hit you especially if you're only in house shoes house slippers or you're out there in your bare feet or your stocking feet it's not appropriate to be taking a can off a shelf with the likelihood of something hitting you on the foot especially when it's metal and it's heavy. So I've been looking at how to address this for quite some time now. And with using the Timu app and looking for things that are appropriate to organise different areas, organise the kitchen, organise different, whether it be drawer organisers, whether it be cupboard organisers, etc. And I've been trying to relate that to the pantry as well. Now previously I've used big tubs, previously I've used um, small shallow tubs uh, and different things and they're not really appropriate for me. So I started to think, although I wanted clear tubs and I've seen plenty of them, the cost them is quite high, um, airtight tubs and things etc. But I was trying to relate something to helping me stack the cans. And I kept seeing these Coca-Cola trays that you keep in the fridge. That isn't one. Something like this. So you put your Coca-Cola cans in, your Fizzy Pop cans in, and you put two layers. And as you take the first one out, the cans roll and it realigns so there's always one at the front for you to take. So I took a measurement of a basic tin of baked beans and then I took a measurement on the Timu app in particular, it was where I did it, of what the width was and the length was of the container. And I initially ordered two. And I thought, I'll take a chance that my tin of baked beans can fit in this container. And it did. And it was great. I can fit four to five across the bottom layer. And then again, another four to five on top. And then on that same shelving space, I can sit another one on top of those cans. And if I have extra baked beans or baked beans and sausage as an example, I can sit them both together 
and I can reach in and take a can of baked beans at any point or a tin of baked beans and sausage at any point and I sit them on top of each other and lo and behold it makes that structure within the shelf safe when I'm going to take a can now from any of the tubs there isn't a likelihood of that can toppling over and hitting me on the foot because they're all contained within their containers on the shelf. <coughs> I've also bought other containers and I spotted these today. So as I say, initially, I'll come back to that in a moment. <coughs> initially, I bought the first lot of these from the Timu app. And they were five pounds, just under five pounds for one tray. When I looked in shops like Home Bargains or other cheap shops, they're actually just two ninety nine. So I began to buy these locally in Home Bargains, and I've saved myself a lot more money. And so far, I think I'm up to twenty five trays. Now all in all, that's a lot of money, especially for me on a very frugal, low budget, uh, low budget. But for me to actually contain and create more space in the pantry and make it a safe environment for me to nip in and out on a daily basis with or without shoes, with or without stockings and know that I'm not going to have a broken toe that afternoon, that night time is a blessing so the outlay that i've paid for these trays is a blessing to me it's a lot of money but it's an investment and i'm looking at it as an investment okay so that's those so always if you've got an idea and you're looking at an app like timu always go and look in your shops first and do a price comparison because you can save a lot of money. That's an almost half price to the Timu price. And Timu is actually quite cheap. I spotted these ones today. And again, I have lots of packets. Now, whether that be pancake mix, gravy mixes, Chinese sauces, nuts, whatever it may be. I have a lot of packages building up. And at one point... I actually purchased one of those plastic shoe racks that you hang on a door and it has several pockets in but of course packets are different sizes and I also have small boxes now whether they be yeast whether they be different powders different sources and these pockets begin to rip and they don't contain now a bit more yes none of us like to use plastic over and over again but unfortunately, it's so suitable and so sturdy for a contained environment within the pantry. And for me to use two of these to contain packets and small boxes will be ideal. I can quickly flick through them. The tub itself is not going to rip. Unless I drop it, it could break. But it's not going to rip just by daily use. And I think it's absolutely perfect. And again, much, much cheaper in a shop like Home Bargains, B&M's, etc. So they're the types of places I'm looking to buy containers for. So if I can just bring it out into the pantry. It's, it's very messy at the moment. Um, I've not looked at actually cleaning it thoroughly. Um, um, <clears throat> if Mr. Wallflowers can just pan round, I use it to contain an awful lot of things, my shopping trolley, bits and pieces that I'm going to incorporate around the house, bags, cleaning agents in reserve, boxes I'm going to incorporate in storage, but the actual bulk of the pantry is this main section. <clears throat> So if I can just show the the trays, Mr. Wallflowers. So these are what are normally utilised for Coca-Cola tins. Now, as I say, I've done a bean section with sausage and beans on, on the bottom, beans on top, 
lots of chickpeas, white beans, butter beans, carrots and peas, potatoes, lentils and carrots. And I'm trying to incorporate it all the way through the pantry. As you can see, I've just brought, bought new containers. I've got custards and rice puddings and I'm about to do the dessert section. And I've also started it with my soup sections and I will continue and I've characterised them all into the different flavours so I can go directly to what I want. I've got a few more sections to actually cover with that. And of course I have my, my canning jars and I can't stack these on top of each other. Some of them are my rebel canning, such as the potatoes and chips that I've just done in normal recycled jars. Um, I have my bread and butter pickles. I also have chopped jars, etc. Down here, uh, initiative board. Down here, I have my stored carrots, green beans peppers and onions and different things that I'm prepping along the way for the winter. Um, a shelf just behind you Mr Wallflowers and I say there's still a lot of work to be done. This section is the meats I did recently. Whoops Daisy, you okay? This section is the meats I did recently and more food initiative shop jars jams, tomatoes I've canned from the garden with basil in them. So many different things that I'm preserving and trying to be organised. Mr Wallflowers has fell into the back of the pantry. <laughs> but this is one of the, the things I was telling you about. So it's a shoe rack with many pockets. In. Now I will still utilise this but I will keep the smaller um, things in this and put the larger packets in the tray I've just shown you um, but it, it does work to an extent it's just that the pockets do rip um, and I need to get this a little bit more organized but it works the cabinet at the back I tend to use for miscellaneous so they will be my vinegars my pickles some jams, some juices, and different things I use along the way. But I'm hoping to get a lot more organised, so I'm trying to utilise this space as best I can. It looks pretty full, but because I'm not utilising the space properly, it can be a lot more organised. But I'm so chuffed with how these containers have worked out how I can fit so much more these shelves are secure high weight bearing levels and I can fit an awful lot on with these containers doing it this way and I highly recommend if you're looking to fit an awful lot in a small space these are the way to go I hadn't seen anyone else actually utilize them this way um, and they are screwed to the wall as well these shelving units are screwed to the wall so if anything happens they will stay safe and so I want to bring all these I have lots of different packets and things I want to store properly and I'm not really enjoying these types of tubs I want a clear tub with a shelf of its own so I've got easy access to it and so I can come in and clear my pathways so I've been buying storage boxes to place on wardrobes so I can put DIY tools, different things in different sections of the house and open up this pantry purely just for what I need. I said the other side needs an awful lot of work done to it to bring that into an organised stage and I'm going to remove the Welsh dresser and give myself a proper access route to actually utilise this space a lot more. But for the small space that it is, it's contained such a lot of the mess to keep it away from away from the home. Um, and there's a lot more work to be done. I just wanted to share 
with you the containers I'm using uh, and just how we're getting on with the organising jobs and the work that has to be done to make sure it's an easy flow for us for the winter period. Okay, hope you've enjoyed the mini tour. Hope you've enjoyed me showing you what I'm actually doing and what I'm using to do it with. And I'll speak to you soon. Bye bye. Bye.